Have you ever wondered what it was like to work in a tech job? Information technology careers, or IT for short, include a wide range of jobs that deal with the design, development, support, and management of hardware, software, multimedia, and systems integration services. It's a very creative industry, and there's so many different kinds of jobs you can have. A lot of people think being a software engineer, or programmer, or computer scientist is you sit in a room and write code by yourself all day. That has not happened to me even once in 20 years. The world is becoming more computerized every day, which means there are jobs for IT professionals in every industry. Agriculture, education, manufacturing, medicine, tourism, research, marketing, and most other fields employ IT professionals. A few examples of many IT jobs out there are software engineer, hardware engineer, web designer, technical writer, tech support specialist, network administrator, and many more. These different roles can also work in different types of IT jobs, from training and tech support to project management and web development, building hardware and software networks, and more. My name is Ashley Pugh, and I am the content development manager at the Urban League of Metropolitan Seattle. And my responsibilities include a whole lot of things. Um, when you work in nonprofit, you wear a lot of hats. But um, the main things that I'm responsible for are maintaining our website, um, overseeing our social media, doing all of our graphic design for like flyers and promos and things like that, and branding. My name is Kevin Del Rosario. I work at Amazon here in Seattle, Washington, and I'm a digital marketing manager. A digital marketing manager involves marketing for products and services across the digital ecosystem. So that means what are we marketing our products on? Uh, websites, social media, uh, apps, anywhere that's your digital media presence. How are we messaging customers what we want to say about our products and services um, and how are we looking to sell our products? Hello, my name is Donna Sarkar. I am a senior software engineering manager at Microsoft. Um, it's a very, very nebulous sounding job. Uh, pretty much I write lots of software code and I manage a large group of people who do the same. Um, a huge part of my job that's different than many others is that I also present to the public quite a bit. So I spend a lot of time in front of audiences. It used to be in person, so it used to be in 5,000, 10,000 people presenting technical content. Nowadays, it's all over virtual things like this, but it's been really, really eye-opening in my career to not just write code, but to present it to people and get their feedback on how they're using my products and how they're benefiting from it. Uh, from people all over the world. Uh, yeah, Maninda Boralesa, uh, typically go by Manny, which most people uh, know me as. And uh, so I work for Amazon. Um, I'm a senior product manager. And so uh, basically what that job entails is um, working within the tech side um, to kind of coordinate um, business priorities um, with the tech team directly. So most of what I do is you know, based on um, kind of leadership and organizational um, priorities that are funded for like a given year. So typically business needs can change within that time frame, right? So you can say you needed something in January and then by the time December comes around, you can say, oh, well, we don't need it anymore. So got to make sure that, uh, you know, we're, we're still um, kind of pushing out those relevant um, tech products. Um, by the time that they're actually complete and ready to go. For um, I'm Maria Nagaga. I am a senior program manager at Microsoft, and I work in a department called the developer division. And that means I build tools and languages for people out there in the world, specifically developers, but developers can be you who's watching this today, and hopefully it inspires some of you to do this. Um, as a program manager specifically, what that means is that I am an engineer who doesn't technically write code every day. Instead, my, my work is to provide vision, context, and goals for where we need to be building our products, just not today, but where we need to be even 10 years from now. You may not have heard of information technology before, but IT companies make up some of the largest in the world. Companies like Microsoft, Apple, IBM, Facebook, and Google, just to name a few. Salaries for tech jobs vary by industry, region, type of job, and experience level. For example, an entry-level tech support specialist 
will earn less than a senior software engineer. And a systems administrator working in Cleveland will probably earn somewhat less than a systems administrator working in Seattle or New York. But overall, IT professionals in the U.S. tend to earn quite a bit more than the average worker. Depends on how big the nonprofit is, but I, the range that I've been in since I've been doing this role for nonprofits is between 35 and 70. So if you're really good, if you have experience, if you um, just are really confident in your skill set and you're able to communicate that, then you could definitely make a decent salary um, doing this type of work. And I work for a nonprofit. That's something to consider too, because for-profit companies make more money and they're able to pay more for this type of skill set. And so if you were to take this and go to a for-profit company like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, like whatever, then I could easily be making double or triple my salary. First of all, tech industry pays a lot. Um, it's just a good industry to be in. I, right now, I don't know the exact number, but I make around $500,000 a year at Microsoft. Um, it has taken me a while to get here, but that's, I think I probably make a little more actually. I just got promoted. Um, so it's, it's a very good industry. That I think like my area would, would be um, like 200 and 250K a year, um, depending on the, the stock. So like, where I'm at at Amazon, the stock is a pretty heavy part of the compensation. So I'm almost like close to 50% tied to kind of what the stock would be. So like based on that performance, um, it kind of where it would end up being. But yeah, I would say 200 to 250K a year. Now this all depends on one, the company you're working for, plus where you are based. Someone in New York is going to make more than somebody in Ohio, or even sometimes somebody in Seattle. So. Our average range for someone coming out of um, university, for example, is anywhere between 70 to 100,000, 70K to 100,000. Now I know that's massive, but as I said, it really does depend on where you are in the country and the company that you've joined as well. But once you've reached where I am, depending as, a, as again, where you are, it's, it is, mid six figures, right? It is a, it's a very healthy um, salary. I can very comfortably afford um, my rent. I can afford my bills. Like it's a very comfortable living, right? Thank you for viewing an abbreviated version of our IT careers video lesson plan. To find out how to integrate a career discovery curriculum into your classroom, go to vtaste.com.